Finally, the environmental group Greenpeace are fighting to free a killer whale. He's called Nemo and he's on show daily at Clacton-on-Sea in Essex. Greenpeace say it's cruel to keep him in captivity. So, they're trying to buy him and they want to set him free. Nemo was just three years old when he was plucked out of the waters off Iceland and put in a pool amongst the big dippers and amusement arcades of Clacton Pier. The environmental group Greenpeace have mounted a determined campaign to release Nemo to the wild again. They say the circus acts which the killer whale performs for the crowds on the pier are a cruel and ruthless form of exploitation. Greenpeace say that the lifespan of any whale is drastically reduced in captivity. In the wild, they're known to live complex social lives. But isolated in a pool, they can die literally through loneliness. But Nemo's trainer, a supporter of many of Greenpeace's environmental causes, says that on this issue, they're completely wrong-headed. You can't force an animal this big to do anything at all. Absolutely nothing. If he doesn't want to work, he won't. Period. Um, how, how do you force an animal like this to do anything? You can't. It's done. It's done with affection, with time and patience. <laughs> the word is entertainment, and, and it's the sort of entertainment that's exploited quite ruthlessly by the owners of the wild and, and by the people that are showing them. Um, what it's doing for the whale is unimaginable. It, you must remember it's a wild animal that's been taken from the seas and uh, to be cooped up in the pool at Clacton and others like it for the rest of its life. The whale is owned by an American-based company. Greenpeace campaigners have gone to Detroit in a final bid to buy Nemo his freedom. I'm going to get a job lot from my brother. So in Detroit, the men from Greenpeace prepare to meet the owners of the whale. Well, I think we must just go straight in there um, and tell them we've come with the money to buy the whale. Uh, and we've come 4,000 miles and we'd like an answer. So, helped by a local supporter, the two men approach the headquarters of the firm, but the building is deserted. Neighbours tell of giraffes and monkeys arriving in the night. A discarded leaflet offers endangered species for sale. The real office turns out to be a former public library a few hundred yards down the road. The firm employ at least 10 people but they're not eager to see the men from Greenpeace. One of the two brothers who runs the firm was said to be in Florida collecting more animals. The other refused to see the Britons. Eventually, a co-director agreed to see us all, but he had no good news. So he's negotiating to try and sell the whale to someone else? To move the whale? To move the whale, I yes. Guess. Well, That's it appears. Well, wait, I mean, it was simple stonewalling. The offer from Greenpeace was just not acceptable. Um, but we're not going to get an answer, are we? I don't know if you are, if you are. Now, we've put that deal as forcibly as we can, and they simply won't entertain any idea of talking to us. So effectively, they're saying the whale can stay there until it dies and we collect on the insurance. So it really makes me very angry. The, the delegation from Greenpeace will make one more attempt to put their £100,000 offer, to, but with the owners standing to make up to a quarter of a million in insurance if the whale dies, they don't hold out much hope. Ken Reese, News at 10, Detroit.